The National Drainage and Irrigation Authority has begun preparations for the pumping of water from a section of the Pomeroon to aid in irrigation efforts for rice farmers along the Essequibo coast. The National Drainage and Irrigation Authority has begun preparations for the pumping of water from a section of the Pomeroon to aid in irrigation efforts for rice farmers along the Essequibo coast. Farmers within the vicinity of New Road and Charity on the Essequibo coast have been facing a shortage of irrigation water due to the prolonged dry spell. CEO of the NDIA, Frederick Flats, explains. This is the only part of the country that we are having this problem. The other parts of the coast, we have enough water for irrigation purposes. As a result of this, there is not much water in, in the lakes, particularly the Kupui, Mainstay, and Tapakuma lakes. Lands south of Riverstown are currently being irrigated with water from the Itiri BC Conservancy. As such, farmers between Supanam and Itiri BC River are not facing any problems. The area between Riverstown and Queenstown are also benefiting from irrigation from the Itiri BC Conservancy. The other areas, we have some amount of problems. Right now, we have been releasing water from the Tapakuma Lake into the main canal. And so there is water in the areas north of Queenstown, right down to the Somerset and Borks area. Despite this intervention, the water is still not at the height that the farmers would be accustomed to. The farms in these areas utilize gravity-fed irrigation. As such, the farmers in the backland receive adequate water, while those farmers at the front face the expense of pumping water from secondary canals. As from the 21st of June, 2019, the NDIA would be pumping water from the Pomeroon River into the Tapakuma Conservancy. And we believe that within a few days, farmers would be able to have water at higher levels, and there would be no need for farmers to be pumping water from the secondary canals into their fields. This move will alleviate the cost of pumping water into the fields for farmers, thus relieving them of the financial burden of mechanically irrigating their fields. Reporting for InfoHub, Nicosi Bruce.